Hi everybody, my name is Dr Sophie Schotter and I'm going to talk to you today about Profilo, a treatment that everyone's been talking about over the last few years and has definitely taken the UK aesthetic market by storm. So I'm going to um, answer a few commonly asked questions, what does it do, how does it work, etc. So Profilo is um, a treatment that involves injecting hyaluronic acid into the skin, but it's very different from dermal filler, whereas dermal fillers are gels that are created to lift Profilo is a little like the texture of runny honey and we inject it strategically in certain points within the skin. You will feel and often see a bump and that's deliberate so we know it's in the right place and from there it spreads out um, and its role is to stimulate your skin rather than for it to be there forever. In most people's skin it's there for about three weeks and in that time it's switching on your fibroblasts, it's switching on those collagen producing cells and it's really causing your skin to be remodelled. Um, we do a minimum of two sessions which are spaced a month apart, um, four to six weeks, somewhere in that bracket. So some people do need more than two sessions. It really does depend on the individual, on the skin, on their concerns and that's why a consultation is so important. So two sessions spaced four to six weeks apart and from that we can expect the results to last about six months. So what do you see? You should see your skin feeling and looking firmer. So the skin just has a certain sort of bounce to it. There's a glow. It's hard to describe, but people, when I've had my profile, I get more compliments on my skin than I normally do. So it's that sort of je ne sais quoi. It's something has changed, but it's difficult to pinpoint because you haven't got a structural change to the face. Um, and yeah, your skin should just feel more moisturised. One of the things I notice is my makeup just glides on better than it usually does. Now, one thing that is sometimes difficult for people to understand with Profilo is you'll have your first treatment, you'll go away. You might think it's about a week that you're seeing something and then all of that goes and you think, oh, well, I've seen nothing from it. Do I really need to have the second one? Should I actually bother? Yes. <laughs> so. If you see anything after the first treatment, you're very, very lucky. Most people start to see results around three to four weeks after their second treatment, because that's how long it takes for the collagen production to start happening. So it's definitely not an immediate quick fix. It's a lovely one to have um, in the lead up to an event. And another way that I tend to do it is when you have your first treatment, have those two that are spaced a month apart. And after that, rather than waiting six months for everything to wear off and your skin to go back down to where it started, you can have a single one every three months and then you do a little bit more of a slight yo-yo and your skin will just stay looking better, more consistently. And that way, if you time it so that you have one a month before a big event, you can really, really get great results from it. So places we often use it, the face, usually this bit of the face, so from the cheek to the jawline. We can treat foreheads, um, but generally we would open another syringe for it because if you spread it too thinly, you're not going to see the result anywhere. And foreheads do get very, very bumpy with it because it's quite a tight space. Next, it's one of my absolute favorite treatments for, um, but it's also an area I'll often say needs more than two sessions. Decuitage, so great for when you start to get a little bit crepey from um, sun damage, when you start to get a few fine lines appearing. What a lot of people don't know about though is it's also brilliant on the body. So hands, um, arms, um, stomachs, knees are all places I've used it with really good success. Um, we might need to use more Profilo and again have more sessions to get the results, but once we get you there, the results are brilliant. What should you be careful of? We don't treat anyone who's pregnant or breastfeeding. And that's not because um, these treatments are dangerous. It's more that it's not ethical to test them on pregnant or breastfeeding women. So definitely wait until um, you're through the other side of your um, baby journey. Um, we advise not having it too close to any heat-based treatments as well. So one thing I'm a big believer in is layering treatments and layering different types of collagen stimulation. Um, but preferably, if you have got the time to stagger things, um, I think it's better. You'll get less downtime, you'll get hopefully more results. There are exceptions where we might do everything on the same day, but we try um, to avoid it. And if you do have treatments on the same day, we might do, for example, old therapy first, and then your profilo straight afterwards, rather than the other way around. Um, and also any infection in the area treated. It's something that, 
there, there are a lot of amazing photos of Profilo floating around on the internet and a lot of people come to me thinking it's going to give them a jawline lift. That's not really what Profilo does. Profilo is all about skin rather than structure. So if someone has very lax skin, then yes, they can get a little bit more of a refined jawline, but it's not going to be the same as using dermal filler, for example. So it's important that when you have your consultation that what you're looking to achieve is discussed and whether Profilo is the right treatment for you is um, uh, discussed. But generally, I find it's one of my most popular treatments, a really high satisfaction rate, um, and that the downtime from it is really very manageable for most people. You walk out looking a little bit like you've been attacked by a wasp symmetrically, um, but very quickly that starts to go down. So say you had a treatment in the morning, by that evening it's a lot better, by the next morning, anyone except you would probably struggle to see um, that you've had anything done. But of course, bruising and swelling are always possible with needle-based treatments. So yeah, definitely one to look into. Have a little read about it. Um, and it's one of my personal favorites. It's one of the ones I never skip.